So welcome to the final installment of the 260 mission guides, where we are going to go through the SPG missions for the tank. Now, as you can see, I have actually skipped the vast majority of these. I did do all of these. Um, I've done all of them with honors on the stug, and we've done all of them through this. And I believe, yep, we've even done all of them through here. I think the only one that's on this, because there is one order, and I believe that's heavy tank 12. Yeah, so there is this. That's the only one that I've used an order on for the T-55. But I have done all of these, so I do know what I'm talking about. It's just going to be, obviously, harder for the 260, and I did just skip it straight away because I had all the orders ready. Anyway, let's get straight into this. SPG-1, very simple. Any tank that will be able to stun people. You've only got to do it 10 times. It's not a problem. SPG-2, this one is a little bit more difficult because you have to stun them for 160 seconds in total. And luckily, potential stun is counted. Um, the way that I would do this is get something that has quite a fast firing um, gun. You could actually do this with the tier 9, uh, what's it called? This one, the tier 9 British Artillery. And it will... I believe, which gun is it? Uh, you use the, the base gun because then you get a reload of 22 seconds and that way you're still doing quite a fair amount of damage um, or stun duration, but also a good enough reload. Um, that is how I managed to do most of them that are the kind of the stun missions. There are better ones. Uh, the tier 9 uh, Russian one is also very good because you can use the stock gun on it if we just change it. And then that will give you a similar type of reload. But the tier 9 British one is what I'd recommend. Obviously, you could go all the way down and choose like an M44. But at higher tier, you're going to get more potential stun. So the better that your chances are of doing 160 seconds. So as long as you, you know, spam into the heavy tank flank, you'll be absolutely fine. And I realized that this is actually making me kind of cringe when I'm saying this. Because I really, really hate artillery. And the fact that Wargaming make you do these missions is just disgusting. For number three, stun a heavy tank or tank destroyers eight times. That's pretty simple. You could, I mean, you could probably do this in like three shots. Um, if you get on the heavy tank flank and just shoot into it. Most maps allow you to shoot into the heavy tank flank. Because they are very, very poorly designed against heavy tanks. And artillery can just spam you. Stun enemy heavy tank or tank destroyer for 100 seconds in total. Potential stun is counted. Again, pretty simple. It's only 100 seconds for this one. It's not 160. So again, the tier 9 and just spam the heavy tanks. For SPG-5, enable your allies to cause 2,700 HP of damage. This is able to be stun damage or even a mobilization damage where you'll knock out their tracks. So anything that you do, again put something into a large group of enemies. It doesn't just have to be the heavy tanks, but just put them into a large group of enemies, get them shot, and then you'll get the assistance. Any tank will really work for this. I say tank, SPG. And again, the exact same thing. Probably want something that's a little bit faster firing. This one, I would actually recommend that you go down a few tiers because it doesn't matter about potential damage um, or potential stun, sorry. So you just need to hit six different tanks. And as long as they're fast firing and tier six and above, you should be able to get this done rel relatively easy. SPG-7, you could pretty much do that in every single game. Doesn't matter what tank you're in. SPG-8, again, this one is just kind of set it, forget it, and oh, eventually it will get done. There's no amazing way of doing this. It is just, did you have a good game? If you did, hopefully you come top. Now for SPG-9, this one is kind of annoying to do. You probably want to use something like a CGC where it's going to do a lot of damage or a T92 GW100. It's going to knock out crews and it's going to knock out internal modules. Actually, it doesn't even need to be internal modules. So if you knock out a gun, if you knock out a track, it will count towards this. So yeah, I still recommend the GW100, T92 or CGC. And you should be knocking out quite a few different things with that. Cause or assist in causing 3600 HP of damage. By stunning or immobilization, exact same thing as the previous one. It's just a little bit more. Um, I think the last one was, what, 2,700, right? Yeah, so 3,600. This isn't too bad. Um, realistically, you just get something that will shoot them. Like the tier 9 British one will do absolutely fine on this. Stun three enemy vehicles with a single shot twice. 
again, the tier 9 British artillery, it is going to be your best friend for this probably. Or even like a 261. Just put that into the heavy tank flank, find free enemies, hopefully they group up, and that should be absolutely fine. Remember to look around the map when you're actually trying to do this one, because if you just focus on, say, heavy tanks, then that's all you're going to see, right? And over the other side of the map, there could be a group of medium tanks that are all clustered together, or TDs. So always keep a lookout for where everyone is. For SPG-12, stun for 160 seconds in total, and your allies must destroy three enemy vehicles that are stunned or immobilized by you. This is a little bit tricky, I won't lie. Um, it's a little bit annoying. But again, the tier 9 British, um, you could do it in like the tier 9 Russian or even the 261, so the tier 10 Russian. But this one is just, it's a little bit of RNG, to be fair. Like, you get the 160, that is maybe done, well, I mean, depends how lucky you are with where everyone is. But if you can spam like a collection of, you know, tanks, then it should be relatively easy to get 160 depending on the map and then hopefully your enemies or your friendlies can finish off three tanks for you. SVG 13 cause damage eight times by shooting them or you could stun 10 enemy vehicles. This is pretty easy. Like I'm I don't know whether or not this needs to be eight separate enemy vehicles. I don't know but either way even if it's eight different vehicles it's not too bad on an SVG because you can you know, fire across a large uh, variety of uh, vehicles. So you have to let me know if this one is um, just by shooting like one person eight times or if it's actually eight separate people. If it's eight separate people, again, it's a little bit harder, but not impossible. Um, but if it's just eight times, then that's very, very easy. For SPG 14, stun for 180 seconds in total, which is quite a long time. Or you can enable your allies to cause 1000 HP of damage to a vehicle that you have immobilized. Notice it does not say stunned. So I would recommend you try and do the 1000 HP and get into a platoon with your friends. I'd recommend you do a platoon with all of these, by the way. Trying to do this solo is a nightmare. So do not do this solo. Do not at even attempt to do these solo um, because you will just no. it's not nice. It's really not nice. Um, if you can get 250 Bs and you choose the artillery, that is probably going to be best, like some autoloaders. And then they can just clip whatever you spot or whatever you shoot at. So if the, if you can uh, immobilize him, then they shoot. That's easy. 1,000 damage done. And SPG 15, be the top player by experience earned and enable your allies to cause 2,900 HP of damage by either immobilizing them or stunning them. If you want to do this with honors, which obviously it's an SPG 15 or a level 15 mission, um, you should do to get all your campaign orders back, even though that if you're at this stage, like it doesn't really matter. You're going to get the tank anyway. Cause 3,700 damage to the enemy as well and win the game. So this one is pretty hard to do. Tier 10 is your best friend and probably something like a CGC is going to be the best because it does have that massive gun arc and you, you're you not really slow, but you're mobile, you're mobile enough to get around the map a little bit more. Or you could do it in like a 261. Um, it's just very map dependent. Um, you're kind of hoping for something like Prokhorovka where as soon as someone gets spotted, you could then stun them and then they die. That's um, that's kind of like the dream. Or you want something maybe like Erlenberg where, where you can just spam the the kind of city area or even at the very back. Anyway, i just done all of that in 13 minutes. You can tell that I really love SPGs. Um, but realistically, the SPG missions aren't too bad, right? They are not too difficult. It's just you have to play a lot of games and get the right map and then you can complete it. And that's the biggest issue with the SPGs is that Wargaming forces you to play SPGs even if you hate them like I do. And I despise them. But you have to play them if you would like the 260 or even the 279E. Yeah, that's SPG Mission Guide. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm gods. And I'll see you all in the next video.